Thanks, Tracy. And uh, I'll just uh, change of pace. Uh, not too much metals, now batteries. So, so lithium batteries. And, and I'll give a quick uh, rundown. I'm here, and we can chat later on if, if anybody else is here. So we are in, uh, um, so the new Electrovire, and, and, and the reason is we are, we are at uh, headquarters in Mississauga and in the Toronto Stock Exchange, and disclaimers, of course. And uh, we are in the TSX. Uh, the, the stock goes up and down. Uh, the, as usual, and uh, we are um, in making lithium-ion batteries. And the, the reason uh, two interesting things happened uh, last year, about just about a year ago, we had a transformational acquisition. We purchased a company called Litarian GmbH, which was initially, uh, this is probably uh, Europe's largest uh, lithium-ion operation. Uh, everybody has a giga plant somewhere, and this is Europe's giga plant. So, so that, that, that was uh, an interesting uh, acquisition we did. In addition to that, we did a acquisition from, from uh, another German company called Evonik Degusa that invented a ceramic separator for lithium-ion batteries. And this uh, deal we did before the Polypore uh, sold their uh, uh, separator to Ashahi for about $2.2 .2 billion. But we got this deal done ahead of that. So, so the two, two major changes in Electrovire, which makes us into what I call in a very competitive position uh, in the lithium-ion battery space, which presently today is dominated by Samsung, LG, uh, Panasonic. T Tesla is there, but Tesla is really Panasonic. And, and there's a, about a few, few companies. And so how does this Canada-German venture uh, line up against Samsung, LG, uh, et cetera. So that, that's a quick story uh, today. So uh, I'm not going to go into the macros. Everybody has uh, numbers, but energy storage is, is going to be the next massive wave. It's not, uh, the, the world thinks the cars are the only product needed. No, there's a lot of other stuff needs energy storage. So, so it's, it's not only the uh, automotive sector. And uh, how big is the energy storage market? I was in a, a lot of numbers floating around. BCG is talking about 400 billion. Goldman Sachs, two, three months ago, put out a report saying 150 billion coming very short term. And I was in a panel with uh, one gentleman from Samsung. And they asked how big was the lithium-ion battery business. Samsung, he said, oh, it's going to be, our internal data shows, it's going to be as large as the pharmaceutical business, which is, uh, which, which is pretty large. So anyway, it doesn't matter, it's large enough. So what is, how do we play in this, in this game? And, and the, in this game, you cannot, the entry cost is very, very high. If you don't have a billion or two billion, you, you cannot get into it. So we feel there is four things you need, really three things you need to enter this business. Is one, you have to have, you have to have technology and innovation breakthrough. You got to be a clear superiority over competition. Clear. And, and supported by strong IP. You've got to be a better battery than anybody else can make. So that's number one. But that's not good enough. The second thing you have to do is you have to acquire global scale production assets. Uh, it's technology plus global scale production assets. So these are the two things which we achieved in the last uh, little while. And, and I'll come back to it. And now the game has moving to execution, focus, and speed. And we have, we, we think we are moving well with three business development teams located in Europe, North America, and now we have put a small team out in, out in uh, Asia as well. And we are looking at hyper growth and seeding multiple products in multiple sectors. This is very critical. We, auto is good. Auto is good, the guys don't pay you for it. So, so, so the margins is terrible. So we are looking at multiple sectors, including, including auto. So first part of the uh, strategy was 
can we achieve a technology and innovation breakthrough? And the Germans had half the story, Electrovi in Canada had half the story. I think together we make a very, very compelling story saying that in pretty much, in pretty much, so acquiring this German acquisition from Ivonic Degusa, which, and also Daimler was involved in there, the, there's some key matrices in lithium-ion batteries. First is it's got to be safe. Lithium-ion batteries, uh, you've seen all these cars uh, sometimes occasionally burn down. You've seen uh, Boeing 787, a highly engineered product, having, having difficulties. So safety is absolutely critical. Uh, cycle life is very critical, and we are almost double the cycle life over competitors because of technology. Uh, our safety, this proprietary ceramic separator, which was developed by, by in Germany, is giving the highest safety to our lithium-ion batteries. We have 20,000 Mercedes smart cars running with zero safety incident, which you, you, there's no other car company uh, can, can say that. Uh, so safety, cycle life, almost double. This, is, this has been amazing. And, and, and cost, uh, dollars per cycle, very, very low. In addition, uh, every, every lithium-ion production plant uses a toxic chemical. And the electrovire technology doesn't use any toxic chemicals. So that's a massive advantage. In a, and, and uh, so I won't go into details, some electron microstructure, et cetera, et cetera. So the combined intellectual property between Canada and Germany, which we have now merged into electrovire, is giving us a uh, lot of patents. Maybe, maybe 400, maybe 500, is qu qu quite a few. And uh, so this technology superiority is allowing us to walk into places and pick up contracts with very great ease. And we don't come in at the cheapest. We are always saying we are a little bit more expensive. We're like the L'Oreal ad, we deserve it. So we are expensive, but we deserve it. So, so, so that's happening, so this, the first, Technology strategy was, can we combine the two? The second thing is, how do we acquire global scale production? Unfortunately, we didn't have that billion dollars or two billion dollars in our pockets to build a massive giga plant in Mississauga. So, so, so what we did was we found a distressed asset where the Germans had built this plant, and just after they'd built the plant, they asked Goldman Sachs, hey, we no longer are interested, let's sell it. And Goldman Sachs went around, anecdotally, they were asking for a reasonable amount of money, and we came in and we used technology to do the acquisition. This is very, very interesting. It's a, probably one of the first cases where we did not pay cash, but we said, here is the electrovire technology. This is the only technology which can save you guys. So the, 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 we were, the Germans were asking, oh, you guys are the white knights from Toronto? I said, yeah, we are the white knights from Toronto because nobody else can save this plant uh, because toxic chemical plants, whether you're running it in Europe, USA, and now Japan, is very expensive to run. So, so we came in and, and uh, we picked up the plant using our technology. And so two things we... Uh, we uh, we received one was this, the plant itself, which uh, God knows how much uh, they had put in, but they, they claimed they had invested a lot of money in it. And the second thing is we acquired the ceramic separator assets, which, uh, which about a few months ago, I think August 2015, Polypore, uh, it's a comparable, it's not really, uh, sold their separator for about $2 billion. So uh, two huge assets. And here is Mrs. Merkel looking at our battery, which is now our battery, not very happy with the Daimler guys. So, so that's, so we achieved, uh, we achieved this global scale uh, production. So now we've got both the technology advantage and we can now produce. So then what do we make? So we had a client of one, which was Daimler. And Good guys, auto companies, if you're making a margin of 3.6%, he will come back and say, why you're not making 2.9%. You know, they, 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 they 
attack you. So we said, let's move this thing into a multi-sector, multiple clients. Can we, can we drive this business? And so that's really what's the execution part of it is happening as we speak. And so we started off uh, electrodes. So it's like, a, it's like a coffee shop. You know, we will sell you coffee. It's like a restaurant. We'll sell you coffee, but we'll sell you the whole dinner also. So we'll sell you electrodes. We'll sell you separators. We'll sell you cells. But we'll sell you complete systems. Uh, this, this system we are building for Con Edison, which is a New York utility. Uh, we are going after a lot of e-mobility sites, and I'm going to show you there. We're going a lot of energy storage side, uh, residential, backup power, telecom, strategic power. And, 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 and microgrids, and a lot of trucks and buses, uh, guys who pays you a little bit more than just pure auto. So, so what has happened is, after we took over this operation in May 2015, we were really had a single client. And within the last 12 months, our team has now increased the product range from uh, to cells, to cassettes, to residential, uh, systems and through few, uh, complete uh, utility e-bus, et cetera. So you can see uh, as Q2, Q2, Q3 is coming in, so by Q4 we'll be in a very, very high uh, production rate, and, and I'm hoping by 2017 we'll be sold out of this, of this, of this plant, which has a nameplate of 500 megawatt hours, but really should become 700 megawatt hours. Why? Because technology is driving our energy density to go higher and higher. So uh, it's, a, it's a financial audience. I'm throwing some numbers. These numbers are not really worth looking at because r really the growth is coming, I would say, from Q4 2016 and uh, 2017 onwards. But we are making a little bit of money uh, on EBITDA. We are making a, a little bit of revenues as well. Okay, so on the system side, again, um, you can start off uh, uh, from the lithium, which is uh, $10 a, sorry, $20 a kilogram, so it's like um, $20,000 a ton to, to complete systems, which are more like a uh, million dollars a ton. So we are in the value-added uh, side of business. So we, we, so we are, and, and our design criteria is like Lego. We have some fundamental blocks of cells and systems, which with, with our software, hardware, battery management system, we turn those Legos into blocks which can be big energy storage for Con Edison or smaller automotive and other applications. So the whole plethora of applications. So we started off with electrode separators. Separators itself, a very large addressable market, about a $2 billion market, and uh, the margins are absolutely wonderful. It's almost like software, uh, uh, margins in the separator business, because we are the only ceramic separator which gives you fundamental, doubles your cycle life, and gives you unheard of safety. Nothing, no, no, no technology, nobody else's can come near our, our technology here. So, so we are, uh, uh, I, I won't go through all the details, why, et cetera, et cetera. We can, it's basically a ceramic separator. Uh, if there's some heat or something happens, it's, it's dimensionally stable while, while uh, our competitors shrinks and a micro shot becomes a macro shot and you have a, a major problem. So, so that's that. We just launched this uh, cell. This was uh, launched about uh, three, four months and immediately we, we picked up some orders of, uh, um, you know, a launch customer order of about $16 million. Uh, um, so people like the technology because we are giving cycle life, we are giving safety. And I'll just give you some examples of uh, some, some systems just to give you a feel. In addition to uh, lift truck batteries, 
a very mundane industrial applications. Huge, huge demand comes up. Big, massive change happening uh, as, as lead acid wants a replacement. And there's a lot of commercial reasons why, why we think lithium is going to go in. Uh, another application, e-bus and e-trucks. And I'm staying away from the automotive. I'm not against automotive. Germany, we've got five automotive companies who talks to us. Uh, but e-bus, the whole electric bus, there was a report came out last month, uh, $30 billion of lithium ion they'll want. People are not, are moving away from hybrid systems. That hybrid system gave 10, 15, 20% of reduction of oil. But Paris, for example, just announced 4,500 all electric e bus. Cities don't want the small diesel particles, the carbon particles coming out. It's, it's fundamentally that. Uh, and, and not, not energy costs, not anything else. And, and we are seeing huge, huge movement taking place initially in Europe and in Asia on, on the uh, e-bus uh, side. And uh, this is being designed, the largest electric ferry in the world uh, in Denmark. It's coming with some of our products in there. And of course, this, this car up to 2016 uh, it has been about 20,000 of these running with it. And so we are seeing applications in golfing vehicles, airport, mining vehicles, delivery van vehicles, a lot of, and of course in Germany we are almost like, the, like a monopoly sitting there. We're the only guys who are making electrodes, separators, cells, etc. Nobody else has that technology. And there's five German car companies sitting there. And the German government is saying, are, is Germany going to be a value-added reseller for Korean technology? That's really fundamentally what, what is happening. And they don't want to be. They, they don't want to buy. Uh, Korean or Japanese technology, put it in a box and say, here is a battery. No, they, they are, they, there's a, a national program now. They're all thinking how to handle this. And uh, then comes the stationary energy storage, rooftop, uh, this is Con Edison, these are, uh, it, it's, it's going everywhere. Ancillary services, microgrids, uh, renewable integration, industrial applications, uh, there's no end to it. There's absolutely no end to it. Uh, I, I was talking to one, uh, uh, one large-ish uh, utility in Germany. He's looking for 82 gigawatt hours of energy storage. That's, that's uh, uh, really spectacular. And, and uh, as big, uh, much, much bigger than lead acid. So I think that's really what it is, what we did is we merged the electrovire technology with the German technology, and now we have, we believe, global technology leadership. We are ahead of pretty much everybody else. We have the highest safety, highest cycle life, no toxic chemicals during manufacturing, and most importantly, we now have a global scale manufacturing, which we did not have a year ago. And, and, and uh, thanks to the Germans who did invest that, whatever money they invest, whether it's a billion Canadian dollars or whatever they did, it was large, and the markets are emerging, and we are picking up blue chip customers. We are, uh, and, and, and good customers from, from, from around the world. So, Tracy, a very quick, sorry, it's a non-metal story, but it's the end point of your lithium.